Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about the new SharePoint dashboard available from Microsoft. But before we dive into the video, here is a short intro. So right now, Microsoft out the new SharePoint dashboard in everyone's tenant. You may have it or you may going to have that in short period of time. This Microsoft SharePoint dashboard is going to be available in your any of the sites that could be a team site or a communication site. And you can create fantastic dashboards by using this new SharePoint dashboard feature. The first thing is this SharePoint dashboard feature is completely free. You do not have to get any extra licenses to have that in your SharePoint. So access this new SharePoint dashboard. We need to go in our SharePoint site. This, this is my team site. And when I go and click on the settings gate icon, I will see a new option which is in preview right now. But whenever you are seeing this video, it could be available as a general public availability to you. When I click on the manage dashboard, I don't have any dashboard at the moment in this site. So it is asking me to create a new site. Okay. But if you already have created a dashboard for this site, you will have an edit button. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. When I click on create, it will take some time. In the back end, it will go and scaffold some of the pages. For example, if you go and check this URL, you will see one new page, dashboard.aspex has been created. If you have ever worked with Viva, you also know that that page is also called as dashboard.aspex. Okay, so when we creating the dashboard for the first time, we see this type of UI where you will see a button called add card. You will see a gear icon for dashboard details. A preview button, if you add some cards on the page, you will see this preview button to preview it, how it will look when you add them onto the page, right? And the different options are available. So when I go and click on the add card, the most of the options you see in here are familiar with you if you are working with SharePoint. For example, this events, people, quick links, right, web links, all of these are standard SharePoint features, but there are some other features or other web parts are also available. For example, this card designer, folder, my sites, events etc so let me try to go and add one of the web part basically these are the cards these are a bit different when you are working with the sharepoint spfx web part development and with the sharepoint dashboard so the card is different in terms of when you are saying in terms of viva connection you consider them as card but when you work with sharepoint you consider them as an spfx web parts Okay, so let me try to add an events web part or events card in here. So whatever events I am having in this site are going to be displayed. For example, I have one event that is starting from August 27 till September 4th. And today is 21st of May 2025. So that's why it's available to me in here. If I want to go and edit this card, I can simply click on this edit icon. And then I can change all of these properties of this card. For example, instead of events, I want to call it as my events. The size of the card, for example, if I want to show it as a large card or I want to show it as a medium card. So the size has been changed as a key, as you see. Let me take it with large. The source of the event. So it says like choose events to display from different SharePoint site. If I want to display it from this site, then it's coming from this site. 
if I want to select these site collection, let's say there are multiple sites and subsets and all that stuff. So if I want to combine all of them, I can use this site collection option. <coughs> if I go and check all sites, then whatever sites I am having will be displayed, will get the events from and will be displayed. For now, I am just selecting this site. If I want to have some categories, if there are any categories, those are going to be uh, added or if I want to filter based on some of the categories, I can do that. If I want to change a date range for this, for example, this week's event I want to show, next two weeks events I want to show in this card or something like that, so I can do that. And the most important thing is audience targeting. So all of these cards are audience targeted. So if the if you add some of the person, a person or a group, for whom you want to show this card, but other person or other, other group should not see that card, you can make that audience targeting, right? So when I go and hover on this, it says select audience target to target this card too. So if I select someone, this card is displayed only to that. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Let me just close it. So now my card name is my event. Let me try to add another card. That is, let's say I'm going to add my sites. So this card will have, let's see, all the sites which are where I am belonging to in terms of site owner or any other site related permissions I am having. So those sites are going to be listed down here. So as you can see, the my site is there, explore sites you visit and follow. If I go and edit this card, I can change this card's image, this nicely looking card image. Right. I can also change size of the card, let's say large image or, or a medium size of the uh, card. Right. Same here, we are having the audience targeting and can change the title for this. Let me try to add one more card. That is, let's say, folder. So when I click on this choose folder, choose uh, folder, uh, it is asking me what should be my title. I'm just saying it folder. And according to the name, it will go and auto select the icon or if I can go and add my own icon if I want, right? Or if I want a library, so this is a library icon, okay? The same way, I can also select the card size. Let's say I'm also selecting a large for that, okay? So as you can see, all the three cards are large size. So the fourth one will be added at bottom, not at the top. And as in source for this particular library, I want that data to be coming up from my this site. Okay, and which and uh, and uh, whatever data I'm having in this site or the documents is going to be loaded into that. If I want to sort these particular documents based on different type of uh, uh, sorting criteria, for example, by date modified, A to Z, Z to A, I can also do that. Okay. The next card let me try to add is, yeah, this one, card design. So a card designer card is basically provide you a detail to customize the cards that can be configured to display dynamic and people-centric information, right? For example, holiday calendars or whatever we want to do into that particular card. So basically this is card design that we generally use whenever we are working with any of the adaptive cards, right? So here is a link to that adaptive card.io, that exact adaptive card generator designer uh, site, which we all know, right? For now, it's just having this simple label and everything. If I want to change something, let's say I want to remove the image and heading, something like that, whatever I want to do, I can just go and do that. If I want to change the icon, I can simply select any of the library icons, what I want. If I want to change the name, anything else, I can also do that right and this is how my card will look so the next step is so now as you see i have added these four cards one is for my events another is for my sites one is for folder and one is for card designer if you want to add only one more card let me go and add this people card Okay, and let me add one of my colleague, that is Josefa, right? Josefa, 
that I can go and search. Let's type. This is for finding people. And when I go and publish this page, now my dashboard, dashboard.ispeaks page is ready. Okay. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, and five cards are available. Now, again, if I go and click on Manage Dashboard Preview Link, instead of Create, I will see Edit. So when I click on Edit, my dashboard is available for Edit one more time. If I want to go and change the dashboard related details, like if <clears throat> I want to change thumbnail for this. For example, let me go and select any of the available stock images. For example, let's select this one and insert. Right. This is the first dashboard for this site. Okay. And now if I go and click on this copy address, it will provide me the address of this dashboard page, right? If I want to give it to someone else, then they can use it. And these are the changes which I can have. Okay. My page name, if I want to change the page name for my, my dashboard. I can also do that. For now, I'm just putting it like this. Right? And there are more details, like what is the version history and all the stuff when it is created. It is created just now. Okay. And uh, yeah, let me just go and republish. Okay. Now my page is ready. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going into the home page. And in the home page, I have a lot of things. So let me just go and try to put that dashboard in this home page. I don't want to put it on here, but let me just try to put it in here. Let me add one section. Add one section of flexible layout, as you can see. And in here, I'm going to add that dashboard. So there is a dashboard web part available. I'm going to click on this dashboard preview web part. So now my dashboard is added and all the buttons or all the card which I have created in the dashboard are available to me. So this is a flexible layout. So if you are not aware about this flexible layout, I have a separate video on that, how to use this flexible layout in detail. I will put the link to that particular video in the top right corner or else in the description. Let me go and adjust the width of this web part and also try to adjust the height okay so if i go and set it as like this right and uh, this is too large i'm going to change the height of this flexible layout flexible section actually to like mm, this okay and one more thing, I can just go and set this, make this section collapsible if I want to do this with this flexible layout as well. I can also make that collapsible. This is my dashboard. I can just give it a name. Okay. All right. And when I go and republish this page, I can see my dashboard available in here. So let's say I'm exploring the site we you visit and follow like whatever my sites. So when I click this view all button, I can go and select all the sites where I'm part of. Right. If I click on see all, it will go and redirect me to the actual active sites or frequently visited sites. Right. If I go and click on documents from this folder, there is only one folder that is attachment. And if I want to open that actual document library from here, I can just click on this button, open actual document library or the open document library. And that will go and open up that library for us. Okay. The same way, if I want to see 
this is a card designers if you simple card which i have created so if i want to make any custom card based on the adaptive card.io like adaptive card designer i can simply do it for now we just created the heading and the button when i click on it it will go redirected us to adaptive cards.io site which is and which is for us okay and this is find people like as i said like Josefa is my colleague if i want to find him I can go and click on his name and all the details of Uzifa are going to be available to me. For example, I'm looking for Adel Vance. Click on it. All the details about Adel are available to me. Okay. The only thing is this particular dashboard is available per site and it is available in communication site as well as in the uh, team sites. Okay. So the same way we are, we have done this exercise in team side. I have another communication site with me where I have already added the dashboard from going in this gear icon and clicking on this manage dashboard. When I go into it, I can see the edit button because I already created a dashboard for this. And you can see the three, uh, three cards like my sites folder and the card designer I have in here. When I click on the documents to view the documents in that same way, I am seeing all the folders in there, right? And when I click on explore sites, I see all those sites which are available. To me. Okay, so yes, this is a very quick introduction about this new SharePoint dashboard uh, page or dashboard thing which is available by Microsoft. Was this is still in preview, but I'm not sure when you see this video that could be available to you as in general availability. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification whenever I'm uploading a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.